Well, I'm running you back with another lesson, Lord willing to be edifying. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Mohara, Kakodash, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Dub honest to the apostles, Ayo, there's a great millstone to talk about this truth. Shalom to you, Akim, and Akwaf that believe and have faith in Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, in these last days. Uh, praying to be a part of the hopeful elect, man. Um, just got a couple random videos, man. Basically, just seeing the state of America, Babylon the Great, and the end of Esau's kingdom. As you see, a researcher known as Godfather of AI quits Google and says he regrets life, life's work due to risk of risk posed to humanity, man. So he knows that the AI is going to be the end of this this kingdom, man. They put everything in the hands of AI, man. It's ran by the computer, man. And they call it nicknamed Lucifer, man. This video goes into it. The U.S. Department of Defense is funding a project for a $3 million grant from its Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. The project is where AI is being trained to make decisions for them. The project is called Least Worst Uncertain Choice Inventory for Emergency Responses. Lucifer. See that? They, they named it that way so they could call it Lucifer, man. Because this man is the devil the Bible speaks of, man. And it's plain. As you see that he, he regrets what he did, man. But there's no turning back from the destruction of Babylon the Great. And this is a Marine a vet volunteering in Ukraine killed evacuating civilians, man. This didn't, this didn't even, even touch the mainstream media, man. They, they swept that right under the rug. It says, Taco Bell employee appears to be high or on some something while working, man. And that's these people, man. They, they, they're high on something. And you can't make this up, man. I'm going to play a couple of videos from it and that'll be it, man. Because it's, 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 it's pointless, man. Because it's, these, people, these people are drugged out of their damn mind, man. You know, we're waiting for food, man. You got a whole line. You've been sitting here nodding out at the food. We've been sitting here waiting. Yeah, man, and you're sitting here nodding out at the drink machine. So who's making the food? Like, I don't understand what y'all are doing. Like, for real, y'all come to work like this? This shit is fucked up. I promise all we're doing is making the food. Nah, man, you guys are on drugs. No, uh... I swear to God, I don't... Dude, understand. I got you on video, bro. Yeah, I get that, but no, bro. I put that on everything I love. I don't do... Yeah, can I get... Off 11th Street. Yeah, I don't As you can see, man, these, these people are bugged the fuck out, man. They drugged all the way up, man. And they can't recruit these kids, man. They can't recruit these kids to go to war. This is at the Taco Bell and Niles. I'm sitting here waiting for my food. <laughs> yeah, man, these people, man, these kids can't be drafted to go nowhere, man. And Jake wants to play Transformer, man. A man that can do both. They say they don't fuck with me, but I say they can't fuck with me. Fam. I thought you was talking like a suit, maybe, or. Not, not a whole nother person. And I think I put that on another video I did, uh, but man, it's just, just seeing that shit, man, it's just, it's horrible, man, that our people even stoop to that level, man. And while these people are getting set up to, to bring in a new world order, to bring death and destruction on you people, talking about two thirds of our people, and they, they still want to lollygag and play the, 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 um, the, the harlot, man, here in Babylon the Great, man. Now they're coming out with smart means. You see what they did with AI. 
They're going to make it where you're not going to be able to get off the grid. You're not going to be able to do anything unless you turn it in, man. This is going to the smart grid, man, where they're going to be able to turn your refrigerator off, your air conditioner, to your stove, your damn washer and dryer. You're not going to have anywhere to go in this kingdom that's coming, the, the new world order that's coming. ESCOM may soon have the power to turn off individual appliances in your home. This will be made possible through the installation of smart meters. The utility plans to fit them in every home within four years. Former ESCOM executive Vali Pariachi says this will help reduce the load. But being a smart meter, and if I compare a few years ago when we used what we call little controls, that was he ain't, a, really saying, a, he ain't really saying nothing, man. What 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 uh what he's saying about the um be able to turn off appliances and shit, that's all that matters, man. Because they got the technology that they're gonna be able to cut off your appliances, your washing machine, your dryer, your your um refrigerator, deep freezer. They're gonna have the and they already have them on your houses, man. They just ain't um clicked them in or whatever, cut them on already. Because uh, they already got them on your house. I had a guy come out here in my house and put another meter on shit out of the blue. He just came and said, hey, man, uh, I got to put this meter on here. And uh, he really didn't want to go into it. I don't think he really even knew. You know what I'm saying? But these people are setting this place up to be um, smart cities, man. Well, you're not going to be able to go 15 minutes away. Was it 15 minute cities and smart cities, man? You're only going to be able to return. You're only going to be able to go to them for everything, man. You're going to be a slave, man, in a small box. And this continues to go into it, man. As you see, X Seal, Team Six member says they are they can still listen to you even if you take the battery out of your phone, man. So everything is being um, recorded, and man, we just ain't got a clue what the Esau got uh, set up already, man. Take the battery out of your phone. I can still listen to you. In the old days, we took batteries out. You take the batteries out and think you're good, and you go in there and skiff, and you can talk about whatever you want. Well, I can still listen to you. Yeah. We were doing stuff that you could never find what we were doing, ever, and you never will. And it's in every piece of equipment right now, in every chip right now, there's there's stuff. And where do we buy all the chips from? China. Yeah, so everything got a chip in it, man. He telling you, for your... Without a shadow of a doubt, man, they got already had shit. This is old technology to them, man. They've been having this for a long period of time, man. Now they, they, they're telling you that there's nowhere to run, there's nowhere to hide, man. The only thing you're going to have in this time that's coming, man, is your how about Shemmy I was shot, man. Because these people are the devil the Bible speaks of, man. They force them to become your vessels. They deny So there you go, man. Them people don't have a spirit, man. They don't have a spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Shah. They're not made in the image of Yahweh by Shimei Shah. So there you go, man. Esau, the so-called white man, is the devil the Bible speaks of, man. And he's showing you <laughs> to your face, man. If you don't believe it, then it's on you. But they're going into hardcore slavery, man. And that says the Bible. That says how about Shimei Shah. This is Jeremiah 4. Drop down to verse 20. It says, Destruction upon destruction is cried. For the whole land is spoiled. Suddenly are my tents spoiled. And my curtains in a moment. See that? This place is going to be taken in a moment, man. The Lord says it's going to be destroyed in one hour. And that's going to be quick, man. He said, how long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? So you know, the Lord keep calling for you to come out of this place before it's destroyed, man. It says, for my people 
is foolish. They have not known me. They are Scottish children and they have none understanding. You don't understand what times we're coming into, man. You're only going to have your how about Shimmy Al Shai. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge, man. They have no they have no knowledge to do good, man. Well, that means to repent and turn back to your how about Shimmy Al Shai before the destruction comes, man. See, we, we, we are at the time the Lord is finna bring the judgment on Esau Edom, man. In the land of in in this land, man, of Babylon the Great. And we we have we don't have that much longer before the Lord basically brings this, this judgment on, man. And you don't have that much longer to repent, man, because the hopeful elect probably more likely is soon to be sealed, if not already. And they're making legislations where we're not gonna be able to uh, prophesy on the highways or byways or on the internet much longer, man. So get this word, man. We understand what times we in. This is a uh, Hosea 4 and verse 6. It says, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. You don't want to seek knowledge. You don't want to, you don't want to come back to the Lord, man. You're going to suffer the worst destruction ever in the history of man, man. He says, Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So the Lord is going to reject you and let you suffer the wrath for Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing Thou hast forgotten the law of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, thy power, man. And I had to say Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, thy power, because that's exactly what it is, man. You rejected the Lord, man. And I will also forget thy children, man. So your children are going to be destroyed with you, man, because you didn't want to repent, man. Especially you men, man. You black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. You don't want to suffer the wrath of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, man. You know, all Israel, but you men, you're going to cover your whole household, man. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, had a newborn baby or um, six month old or two year old, three year old man. You don't want your your, your baby destroyed in this destruction that's coming, man. You know what I'm saying? You want the Lord to have mercy on you and your family, man. Not saying I know the Lord will have mercy on certain people, but you don't want to tempt the Lord, man, because we know what happens when you tempt the Lord, man. You want to be able to say, well, I, I did everything I possibly could to make sure the Lord sees uh, sees sees to have mercy on me and my family, man. Just like Lot, uh, just like Noah, man, and Lot and his his daughters, man. This is a uh, First uh, Corinthians fourteen. I want to get the point in twenty and twenty down to twenty two. It says, "Brethren, be not children in understanding; how be it in malice be ye children, but in understanding be men." See that in understanding be men, man. So we got to understand this as men, man. Because the Lord is de dealing with you men, man, first and foremost, man. You black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. It says, brethren, be not children in understanding. So don't, don't be little kid, man, like you don't understand what's going on, man. Like you don't know the wrath of your how about Shimei Shah is coming, man. Everybody's going to know the Lord is coming coming to bring um, great destruction upon this place, man. 20 again, it says, brethren, be not children in understanding. How be it in malice be ye children but in understanding be men man so we don't we, as we as we grew in this truth man we become men to you how about shimmy out shot man you know what i'm saying i'm talking about in the word man 21 it says in the law it is written with men of other tongues and with other lips will i speak unto this people man so these men that the lord raised up these lowly men that you see on the highways and byways with well, you know, you might say what well, um, rags and, 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 and out here preaching, you know what I'm saying? The end of the world, man, in other words, the return of our Lord and Savior. How about Shimmy al -Shai? The Lord brung every tongue, man, Spanish, um, English, shit, um, you got brothers over in um, France and Italy. He, he gave it to you in every single language, so you can't say you did not know, man. He says, in the law, it is written with men of other tongues and with uh, uh, with other lips, Will I speak unto this people? And yet, for all that, will they not hear hear me? Say if you how about Shemiah Shah. So the Lord gave you every aspect of this truth, man. If you speak any 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 language or different uh in a different nation, a different tongue, or on the internet. So if you you on the internet, you in Africa, you can hear somebody in English preaching. If you in um Mexico, you can hear a brother in Spanish uh, speak, speaking, man. If you're over here in, in America, you can hear a brother in, in Puerto Rico speaking, you know what I'm saying, the truth, man, in Spanish, man. Wherever you have, man, what tongue you ever listen to. So the Lord gave you, basically the Lord gave you every single way to get this truth, man. 
It was up to you to take heed to the word and, and, and receive it. 22, 22, he says, wherefore tongues are of tongues are for a sign. See that? These brothers out here on the highways and byways preaching to you is a sign, man. Not to them that believe, but to them that believe not. See that? We are a sign to you that don't believe, man. To the brothers that believe and come out at, you know, come out on highways and byways, listen, uh, watch the videos and, and study, you know what I'm saying? Highlight your Bible, you know what I'm saying? Get all the you know, word as you possibly can, man. We're, we're, we're not a sign unto you. We're a sign to those that don't believe, man. So, because you have people walk by the camp uh, every weekend, man. Not knowing what we got going on, ain't asking no questions, ain't even inquiring about what we're doing. This, this is supposed to be a sign for you to repent. Because the Lord, the men of the Lord are on the scene, man. And when the men of the Lord come on the scene, you know the destruction comes, man. That's listed all through the scriptures, man. Verse 22 again, it says, Wherefore tongues are for a sign, not to them that believe, but to them that believe not. But prophesying serveth not for them that believe of not, but for them which believe. See that? We get this word. If you don't believe, you don't take heed to it, it's, it's, it's going to go back to go over your head, man. You set, you, you, you set for destruction, man. The Lord is not dealing with you, man. But the Lord is dealing with those that believe, man. To have faith in you, how about Shem Al Shai? So, you know what I'm saying? No, no one is going to be able to say that they didn't get it, man. They didn't know, man. And I'm going to get it back in the, uh, in the law, man. Isaiah. Isaiah 28. Isaiah 28. So, the Lord covered every single aspect of this truth, man. Every nation, every language, it was covered, man. The Lord didn't leave nobody out to dry that wanted to get this truth. The verse is in 11, but I'm going to start at verse 9. It says, Whom shall he teach knowledge, and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast, man. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. So the Lord... Bless us with apostles and elders, a great millstone, and teach us how to read the Bible, man. As we learn, we also taught the people um, uh, after us, man, that, you know what I'm saying, they didn't understand, and they didn't understand the scriptures and know how to, how to maneuver through the Bible. We taught other people, and after we taught other people, they taught other people, man. So it's basically like a, um, like a, um, a pyramid, pyramid uh, scheme. But this is how it was taught, man. And we know, like, we get a little bit here, like right now, you know, I'm getting a little bit in in, uh, in, um, in 1 Corinthians to go back to the law and a little bit here. So here's a verse right here that says the same thing he, was, he said in 1 Corinthians 14 and 22. He says, for with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people, man. And that's the men of the Lord speaking to his people, man. To whom he said, this is the rest wherewith ye, uh, ye may cause the weary to rest. And that was the scriptures, man. We we bless you, you know what I'm saying, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shah to let you know this is our rest, man. The scriptures, man. Because Babylon the Great is not our rest, man, but this word is our rest, man. This is where we get comfort at, man. We get comfort through the word because the Lord is the word, man. We get comfort in Yahweh by Shem Shah, man. Verse 11 again, it says, For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people, to whom he said, this is the rest wherewith, wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest. And that's about prophesying, man. So, you know what I'm saying? You get this word, man. You learn this truth, man. You need to, you know what I'm saying, push this word to your best of your ability as well, man. This is the refreshing, yet they would not hear. See that? We we came out of Christianity, man, which we didn't learn nothing in Christianity, man. The Lord brought us out of that to learn these scriptures the way they're supposed to be broken down, the way they're supposed to be read, I mean, supposed to be read, and the way the, the, um, the understanding was supposed to be given it to us, man. We have it now, man. The Lord gave us through the, like I said, through the men of the Lord. He gave you the way to go. Verse 13, it says, But the word of Yahweh by Shem Shai was unto them, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. That they might go and fall and slug it, that they might go and fall backward and be broken and snared and taken, man. So we know how to read the scriptures now. We know, you know what I'm saying, when somebody bullshitting the scriptures or going off it's like a pastor come up and say everybody can be saved and the Lord loves everybody. We got the scriptures, man. 
We can go through and break it down, man. Here a little and there a little. Old Testament, New Testament, Apocrypha. We can go through all the books now, man. The Lord put the spirit on us to understand now, man. Now we can't be blinded by these other doctrines, man. And that's Christianity for the first uh, first and foremost, man. Coming out of the slave doctrine, man, that, that everybody, the Lord loves everybody. We just seen that um, those Edomites, they tore up the Bible, man. They know that the spirit of the Lord is not with them, man. It does not rest with those Edomites, man. Now, you might have a couple Bible, you know, Bible thumpers, man, here and there, you know, a couple scholars. I mean, they can read it and understand it to a, to a, to a uh, sense, but they ain't going to get the full understanding of what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh meant for his men, uh, the Lord to get, man. This is Luke 12, and I'm going to drop down to verse 41, man, when we get this parable. It says, Then Peter said unto him, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh speakest thou this parable unto us or even to all? And Yahweh Bashem Yahweh said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward, man? Whom his Lord make, uh, shall make ruler over his house, it's like it, over his household, to give him their portion in, of meat in due season. So that so the Lord basically grew us up, man. The steward goes into being a a, 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 a preacher, man. A, 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 um, a preacher. Let me get it. I got it right here. St like a manager to control his goods, man. This is um. Strong, let me go back so nobody might think it's, I didn't pull it out of the hat or something. Luke, um, what was it, Luke? No, I already got it. Luke 42. Stewart, there we go. G3623. And uh, it's a, uh, a manager of household or of house affairs, man. Metaphorically, the, the apostles and other Christian teachers or bishops an overseers, man. Somebody that oversees and teach the Lord's word. That's what a steward is, man. That's what a steward is, man. I ain't going to go through the whole thing because I know it's going to, you know what I'm saying? I know I don't want to make it too long, man. Basically, it goes into a house distributor or overseer, an employee in that cap capacity. So the Lord, ex um, by extension of fascical fas fas agent, fiscal. Make sure I pronounce everything right. Fiscal. Fiscal. Figuratively, a pastor, man. And that's what we are, man. We are teachers of the word, man. That basically is what goes into being a pastor, a teacher, man, of the Lord's house, man. It says, verse 42, it says, And Yahweh Bashem Yahushua said, Who then is this faithful and wise steward, man? That's, 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 the, that's what we come in, in a lot of a wise steward, man. But let me finish it up. Whom his Lord may shall make ruler over his household to give him their portion of meat in due season. See that? So the Lord blessed us in understanding to give us, as start us off slow, man. Start us off with a little bit, you know, start us off with the milk until we got to the meat. So we understand now, man. We understand the scriptures, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, we you know what a brother goes into. You know what, you know, kind of know what precept you want to, he's going to go to. Or kind of what, um, you know, direction he's going to go to. So you can back him up with a precept, man. So the Lord gave us our meat in due season, man. But you can't rush it. But the Lord, like I said, the Lord gave us his meat, uh, our meat in due season, man. So now we, we kind of getting the meat now, man. Let me continue on. It says, blessed is that servant whom the, his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Find so doing. So the Lord going to find us preaching. His word when he comes back, man. That's what your lot to do is continue to preach his word. Of a truth, I say unto you that he will make him ruler over all that he have. See that? So if you're preaching and prophesying a word to the end, the Lord going to make you ruler because you took and did exactly what the Lord said. He said, feed my sheep and feed my, was it feed my sheep and feed my lamb? Roughly paraphrasing that scripture. It says, verse 45, it says, but and if that servant saith in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to beat the the men servants and the maid servants and eat and drink with the drunken and be drunken. That Lord of that servant will come and in in a day when he looketh not for him. See, they're basically just telling you not to give up. In other words, man, don't 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 give up and start going into the world, man, and believing the Lord ain't coming no time soon, man, because we seeing all the prophecies manifest right before our eyes, man. So don't get weak, man. That's what the Lord, you're going to the parable, not getting weak, man. Continue to preach in his word. 
Verse 46 again, it says, the, uh, the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him, and that an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him in asunder, and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers, man. So you can be in the truth for 10, 20 years, and then you get weak, man, and fall out and go back into the world, man. The Lord will appoint you with the unbelievers, man. That destruction, man. So we can't get weak, man. We got to continue on in his word, man. Continue to be firm in his word, man. Believe and have faith in how by Shemiah Shah, man. And not get weak. And that servant which knoweth, like it, and that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, we shall be beaten with many stripes, man. So we got to prepare ourselves, man, and continue to do the work. But he that knoweth not and did commit, uh, commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. See that? The people that didn't know, man, you know, I'm going to be a few stripes, but you know when the Lord is returning, man, in, in, in the word, preaching his word, man. If you get one listener, two listeners, three listeners, man, as long as you're doing what the Lord say his will is, man, and that's to preach his word, man. That's his will. He says, but he, um, but he that knoweth not and did commit things worthy of stripes, but um, shall be beaten with few stripes, for unto him whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required, and to whom men have committed much, of him they shall ask, they will ask the more. So basically, just going into if, you, if you're doing the work, man, the Lord gonna give you a, a, a little more meat, man, a little more meat, man, give you a little more of the spirit. I say, give you a little bit more of the portion, man, of spirit, and you'll continue to build, man. But the Lord wants you to continue to do His will, man. That's putting this, doing this work, man, and get, feeding the hopeful elect. Because people continue to want this word, man, if you believe it or not, man. So, I mean, this ain't really a pep talk to somebody that's really, you know what I'm saying, truly believe and have faith in how about Shemel Shah. It's you that that think, well, the Lord, you're not you're not uh, worthy to preach the word. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody, if you know a couple of scriptures, man, shit, just bring them out, man. I tell my, tell my buns, man, to bring out a couple of scriptures. Man, you ain't got to make it long. You know what I'm saying? And then you'll just build up, man. Like I said, man, I know I, I, mean, I don't I don't read the best, man. I don't break it down the best, man. But we doing the Lord's will, man. And that's all that matters, man. We trying to get those those uh, uncorruptible crowns, man. And the Lord will see your spirit and continue to bless you with the spirit, man. This is um um Proverbs 27. And I'm going to start at verse 17, man. Because iron sharpens iron. That's what we doing, man. We iron sharpening iron, man. So a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend, man. And that's what we do, man. We bring up these lessons, man. Going to highways and byways, man. We sharpen iron, sharpening iron, man. It says, Who whoso keepeth the fig tree shall eat the, the fruit thereof, man. So if you're keeping the fig tree, man, this word, man, you're going to eat of the fruit you're, you're putting out, man. Because the Lord going to bless you. He's going to make you ruler over his household, man. So that he waiteth on his master shall be honored, man. So if we continue on, on in this word, man, continue to, you know what I'm saying, bring up these lessons, man, do the Lord's will, man, we're going to be honored when the Lord returns, man. We're going to be honored, man, in the name and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahshua. You got to believe that, man. You got to believe that the Lord is going to bless you and do exactly what he said he was going to do, man. This is 1 Thessalonians 3, and I'm going to start at verse 11. It says, Now power himself and our Father and our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, directed our way unto you. See that? The Lord directed our ways unto him and to the hopeful elect, man, till we can get this word out to him. And Yahweh Shem Yahushah make you to increase and abound in love toward another. See that? So the Lord making us bless each other, bless brothers, man. I still watch brothers' videos, man, shit. I still get scriptures and write them down, highlight them. I, I'm not, I, I'm not, I, I'm brother, you, you can be younger than me, you know what I'm saying, I get their lessons too, man, you know what I'm saying, because our focus is getting out of here, man, our focus ain't trying to be proud and, oh, I know more scriptures than him, man, I know this or that more than him, I could got the breakdown better than him, it ain't about that, man, we trying to get out of here, man, we want the Lord to see that we are worthy, and we want our brothers to be worthy, man, so it ain't about no prideful thing, man, no, I, I know I've been in the truth longer than him, no, man. We want to get out of here, man, because you, you don't know that that brother might be higher than you in the kingdom, man. So this is about being humble, man, and understanding, man, that, that everybody, we, we want everybody to seek in Yahweh, to make it, man. Verse 12, it says, 
And Yahweh Bashem Yahshua maketh you to increase. See that? The Lord maketh you to increase, man. To get more of the spirit, man. Get more of the knowledge and understanding, man. When you teach it. And abound in love one toward another. And toward all men, even as we do toward you. See that? Even as the Lord do towards us, the Lord bless us to do it to other men and other men do it towards us, man. To bless us, to sharpen it. Like he's read in other uh, Proverbs, he says, iron sharpening iron, man. He says, to the end, he may establish your hearts un, uh, unblameable in holiness before power. See that? We want to be found unblameable, man, because we did the work. Even our father at the coming of Yahweh Shahamashiach with all his saints, man. See, we want to be gathered with all the saints, man. Like I saw, man, when the saints come marching in, we want to be in that number, man, because we did what the Lord they said to do. The Lord continue to increase us, man. And I love one toward another, man. And that's you brothers, man, that believe and have faith in you. How about Shimei man? We have un, un, uh, unconditional love towards each other, man. Shit, now, like I said before, man, you can't even talk to a brother, man. You can't you can't see a brother at the damn, um, at the store and say, what's up, man? He a mean mug. You're like, man, what you want, nigga? You know what I'm saying? So that, 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 we, we, ain't, we ain't talking about them niggas, man. They ain't gonna make it, man. We talking about brothers that see you and salute you, man. Shalom, man. How you doing, man? You know what I'm saying? Truly, sincerely, you know what I'm saying? Um, I want to see how you doing, man. Y'all be safe, man. So you great greeter, brother, man. Y'all be safe this week, man. See y'all, Lord willing, next weekend, man. We, we'll do it again, man. Prophesy the downfall of Babylon again, man. This is uh, Psalms 30, and I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, Yahweh by Shimei al by thy favor thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. See that? The Lord is going to make us increase, man. That our mountain will stay strong, man. We'll be strong in his word, man. We'll be firm in the word. He says, thou didst hide thy face. Thou didst hide thy face and I was troubled. See that? When the Lord, when you feel like the Lord presence wasn't with you, you felt trouble, man, before you came in the truth, man. He says, and then like now you can feel like, man, I ain't made the Lord. I feel like the Lord's spirit ain't with me, man. You'll you fast or you'll pray, you know what I'm saying? And so you can get that spirit back on you, man. And you'll know it, man. It says, verse 8, it says, I cried to thee, O Yahweh by Shimei al and unto Yahweh by Shimei al I made my supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit, man? So if we ain't doing the work, man, what good is what as good as our blood if we down in the, in the grave, man? Well, you got breath in your, in your, your lungs and blood running through your veins, man, you need to prophesy this word, man. It says, what profit is there in my, in my blood when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise thee? See that? Are you? If you die and you ain't doing the work, man, you out here just going to work, coming home, and just sitting around and bullshit, man. What, what, can the dust praise? When, when the Lord put you to death, man, what you done, man? What have you done with your life, man, in other words, man? It says, shall the dust praise thee? Shall it declare thy truth? See that? We we got breath. We got um. We got air in our lungs, man. Breath in our breath in our lungs, man, to push his word out, man. If you ain't doing the word, the Lord put you to death, man. The, the dust ain't gonna do it. We gotta do it, man, while we got time, man. He says, Hear, O Yahweh by Shem Shah, and have mercy upon me. Yahweh by Shem Shah, be my helper. See that? The Lord is gonna be our helper, man, if we do the will, man, of Yahweh by Shem Shah. He says, thou has turned for me my mourning into dancing. And that's it, man. The Lord put the spirit on us to get this word, man. And you get up sometimes. You get up, man, like, I can tell you how about Shemmy al man. You feel good, man. He says, you know, he, um, thou has turned me, he has, thou has turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou has put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness, man. See? You, you be happy, man, it's truth, man. Someday you just get up, man, just have a good mood, man. Be in a good mood, man, and, and just ready to start your day off, man. It says, to the end that my glory may sing praises to thee. See that? We in this truth, man, you really love the Lord, man. You really doing the work of the Lord, man. Your praises going to be in singing, man. It's a song we're singing now. Like right now, I'm singing a song, man. When you brothers read scriptures, man, your sisters read scriptures, man, you singing a song, man. It said, to the end that my glory may sing praises to thee. And not be silent. O power, Yahweh by Shem Shah, my power, I will give thanks unto thee forever, man. And that's true, man. Lord, what I get, I, I don't I make it to the end, man. I'm give thanks to the Lord forever, man. Regardless if I make it or not, man. I want to make sure I give thanks to the Lord forever, man. Because the Lord woke me up to this truth, man. And he blessed me to bless my bonds, man, my family, man, to get this truth as well, man. 
And so I say, Barak, thank you. How about Shimei Oshai, man, for having mercy on me and my household, man. Lord willing, we endure to the end. This is Matthew 20. It's like in Matthew 10, and I'm going to start at 20. It says, for it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of the of your father, which speaketh in you. See that? So now the Lord ain't speaking through me. I mean, it's like it. The, the, I'm not speaking out, out of my, uh, speaking through myself, man. The Lord's speaking through me, man. Because he put the spirit on us to do these things, man. So when you out there prophesying, you ain't, do, you ain't doing it out of your own will, your own spirit, man. The Lord is speaking through you, man. And that's the Lord's, and that's the, like I said, that's the Lord's will. If you're doing the work, man, the Lord is speaking through you, man. Verse 20 again, it says, for it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of the of your father, which speaketh in you. It says, and the brother shall be delivered to the, to, it's like, let me slow down. It says, and the brother shall deliver up the brother to death and the father, the child. And the children shall raise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Be, be, um, uh, like but, uh, but, but he that endure to the end shall be saved. See that? We're going to go through all hell that's going to break loose, man. You're going to have mem family members that's not in this truth, man. They're going to offer you up to death, man. They're going to say, yeah, he he believed in another God. He believed in Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. He was teaching on the highways and byways. He was reading scriptures, and he believed in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? They're going to they gonna, they gonna offer you up to get put to death, man. Your own parents might do it, man. But it says, but he that endures to the end shall be saved, man. So all this thing is going to come about, and you're going to have to endure it, man. And the Lord said, if you endure to the end, you're going to be saved, man. And the Lord is a man of his word, man. This is Matthew 24, and I'm going to start at verse 11. It says, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many, man. So you got a lot of brothers got different doctrines and different different way of thinking of how this scripture is supposed to be. Man, don't, don't fall away from this truth, man, by taking on another doctrine. Enduring the doctrine that you believed in from the beginning, man. And the one I believed in from the beginning was uh, the, the doctrine of Great Millstone, man. And I haven't wavered from that since, man. And I've been in the truth going on, going on, going a little bit over eight years now, man. And I haven't, I stayed in that same doctrine, the same mindset, and listened to those same men the entire time, man. It says, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And that's what we're coming into, man. The love of many is going to wax cold, man. Because it's going to be a great famine. The light's going to be cut out. The the money's for the system going to be cut cut off. It is raised interest rates, so the inflation is going to grow. The love of many is going to wax cold, man. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved, man. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. See, all the world, we read that in a couple of scriptures before this, every nation lip. Stam what, is, what is it um, in um, Isaiah 28 and stammering lips and different tongue everybody gonna read this word man in all nations see that so we know we at the end man because every lip and tongue has been spoken of this word man so we definitely at the end man there's no way around that man we're definitely at the end man and if you can't see that we're at the end you're not gonna make it man this is Mark 13 and as we read before, man, I, I, I skipped over it, but he said, if you endure to the end, the same shall be saved, man. Like I said before, the Lord's word is is golden, man. You can you can bank on that word, man, because the Lord is, is a man of his word, man. But all these things we're going to have to go through. This is uh, Mark 13, and I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, and when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled. For such things must be, must needs be, but the end is shall not be yet. See that we know that man, like uh, what they put a damn hit on uh, Putin with the drone, try to hit, try to assassinate him or whatever. That's what they're saying in the, in the news. All these things are, are the build up of, of Babylon the Great being destroyed, man. All these things are build up, man. It says, "For nation shall rise against nation." And that's what's happening. Nation rise against nation. Kingdom against kingdom, as you've seen those devil worship, those so-called devil worshippers rising up against the, uh, the 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 men of the Lord, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles 
These are the beginning of sorrows, man. And we and we're at the beginning of these sorrows, man. But take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you up to councils, and in the synagogues ye shall be beaten, and ye shall be brought before rulers and kings for my for for my sake, for a testimony against me against Locke, for a testimony against them, man. And we we have a testimony against them, man, because we know that these so-called white men is the devil the Bible speaks of, man. In verse uh, 10, it says, and the gospel must first be published among all nations. And that's where we, we're at that point now. Uh, we read, like I said, in Matthew, uh, in, in, was in 1 Corinthians 14? This, these are, all these nations have heard this word, man. They've seen us on the highways and byways prophesying the downfall of Babylon and great. He says, but when, uh, but when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take not, it's like it, take no thought beforehand what ye shall speak. And we just read that in the last scripture, the Lord will speak through us. Neither do ye per premeditate, but whatsoever shall be given you in that hour that, ye, that speak ye. For it is not ye that speaketh, but the Holy Spirit, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, man. Now the brethren shall betray the brother to death, and the father, the son, and the children shall rise up against their parents, and shall cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he shall endure to but he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Man, so all when all this comes about, man, all hell breaking loose, man, everybody turning against you, man. You stand firm in his word, man. You're going to be saved, man. And they're going to be destroyed, man. Because the Lord is a man of his word, man. And we, and I, I can say speak for myself. I truly believe the Lord is going to be with us. And the Lord said it. I ain't going to say I believe. The Lord said it. He said, um, I will be with you even to the end. So that's comforting in ourselves, man. The Lord is with us now, man. The Lord said he's going to give his angels charge of us, man. This is a wisdom of Solomon, too. And I'm just going to drop down to verse 21, get to the point here. It says, such things they did imagine and were deceived. See that all these things Esau have, he's going to come up against us in the synagogues and beat us and all this shit, man. It says, such things they did imagine and were deceived for their own wickedness have blinded them, man. See, their own wickedness have blinded them. Our people believe in, in, in so-called Jesus. That wickedness have blinded them, man. Esau believing in his his new in his NWA, his new world order is gonna come to pass. That's blinding him, man. It says, as for the mysteries of power, they knew them not. See that? They don't know the mysteries of Yahweh by Shem Yahshah, but we do, man. We know the mysteries of Yahweh by Shem Yahshah. Neither hoped they for the wages of righteousness. So they didn't they didn't seek Yahweh by Shem Yahshah or the wages of righteousness more. It says, neither discern a reward for blameless souls, man. So they ain't gonna get the reward for a blameless soul. Only us, man. Lord willing, man, we get, you know what I'm saying, those crowns put on our head. It says, for power created man to be immortal and made him to be a, a, a to be an image of his own eternity. It says, nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world. And they that do hold of this, it's like it, let me read that again, verse 24. I butchered that one. He says, I'm in a rush. Let me slow down. <clears throat> it says, nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world. And they that do hold of his side do find it, man. So if you you, you um didn't didn't choose the side of your how about Shimmy Al Shah, and you chose the devil's side, you're gonna find death, man. As the devil brought death into the world, man, you're gonna find death, man. Cause you didn't you you didn't choose the side of your house by Shem Yahu Shah. You choose the, you chose the side of Esau. This is um wisdom of Solomon three. Man, the next verse, the next chapter over it says, "But the souls of the righteous are in the hands of power." See that the Lord is going to control everything around us, man. The Lord is going to be with us, man. He says, "But the souls of the righteous are in the hands of power, man, and there shall no torment touch them, man." So we, we, we're not going to be touched by any torment, man. The Lord is going to truly be with us and save us out of any situation we're in, man. In the sight of the unwise, 
they seem to die. So you have some martyrs that might be put to death, man. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord, I always believe, I, I believe for a fact, man, the Lord will take your spirit out of, out of your body before it is killed, man. Because you can't get in the chariot in these, in these fleshly bodies anyway, man. It says, in the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. And their departure is like the mis like it's like it says, and their departure is taken as taken for misery, and there goeth from us to be utterly destroyed. See that they think, well, we're gonna be utterly destroyed, and you know what I'm saying, put to death in all these gruesome type ways. He says, but they are in peace. See that? We're gonna be in peace, man, when all hell breaking loose, man. When Esau come against us, man. We're gonna be in peace, man. Though it might seem like we might get put to death, your head might get cut off, man, it might torture you or whatever. The Lord is going to be with you, and you're going to be in peace, man. Just like um, um, uh, Stephen, man, when he got stoned, man. This is uh, dropping down to verse 15. It says, for the, glorious, the, for the glorious is the fruit of good labor. See that? For glorious is the fruit of good labors. See, that's what we're doing, man, the work, man. It's, it's a good labor we'll be doing, man. It says, and the root of wisdom shall never fall away. See that? If you do the work of Yahweh by Shem Shah, your works do follow. He says, as for the children of adulterers, they shall not come to their perfection. See that? Two-thirds of our people are not going to come to the perfection of getting those new bodies, man, until they come back uh, out of the, um, the loins of the hopeful elect, man. He says, as the children of adulterers, they shall not come to their perfection. And the seed of the un, of an unrighteous bed shall be rooted out. So you're going to be put to death, man. You're going to be rooted out of the, of the house of uh, Israel, man, and come back as babies. It says, for, for though they live long, yet shall they be nothing regarded. See that? You're not going to be regarded, man, when the Lord will come back. You might have you know, like long life and you done went to church 30, 40 years and ain't nothing ever happened to you. You felt like you've been blessed and got all the things you wanted. But you're going to still be destroyed, man. You're not going to be regarded by Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. And their last age shall be without honor, man. So you're going to be without honor when the Lord returns, man. But the righteous, we read that earlier, the righteous are going to be honored in that time. Or if they die quickly, they have no hope. See that? If you're a child, you get put to death before the time comes, they ain't going to have no hope, man, in returning, man. They're going to have to come back in the kingdom. Neither comfort in the day of, to uh, of trial. It says, for horrible is the end of this unrighteous generation, man. And we're living in that unrighteous generation, man. Because uh, the Lord said, this generation seeketh for a sign, but there no sign will be given, man. For horrible is the end of this, slacky, of the unrighteous generation, man. So Lord willing was edified. I'm going to end it there. Shalom. Shalom.